Hi, I'm Amy Johnson. Welcome to the Happy Soap Group YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you about water discounting. There are three main things that water discounting can do that can really improve your soap making experience. The first thing it can do is it can cut cure time way down. I use a one-to-one -one discount which means I use equal parts of liquid and lye. That means that allows my cure time to be between two and three weeks depending on the soap. Another thing it can do is eliminate glycerin rivers. You may not know but glycerin rivers are mostly caused by water, by excess water in the soap. Clara Lindstrom uh, or Auntie Claire has an amazing article about it on her blog that I will link in the video description. And one more thing that water discounting will do is it can eliminate soda ash. We all have had soda ash. We've all experienced that white film that seems to appear out of nowhere on top of our soaps. That's typically caused by excess water in your soap. Today we're going to be making vanillary soap by, the fragrance is by Nurture Soap Supply, but it is a lush dupe. It's an amazing vanilla fragrance. And let's get started. I have here in my bowl, I have my, all of my oils. I also have my goat's milk and I use kale and clay and colloidal oatmeal. So those are all in here and they've been mixed up and an important thing when you're doing water discounting is to try and soap as cool as possible. So my soaps are at about room temperature. So that's about 68 to 70 degrees right now. So I haven't added my lye solution yet. Uh, these are just my oils. So we're gonna give those a quick buzz and make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Uh, when you're using a water discount, another thing that's really important to remember is you wanna use your stick blender as little as possible because the more you stick blend, the faster something is going to come to trace. And using a water discount will cause your soap to accelerate faster than it would if you were using full water. Something that I recommend for someone who's never done water discounting is to do it in steps. Don't go from a 2.6 to one ratio, which is what soap calc defaults to all the way down to a one to one ratio. It's better to go down in steps. So maybe go start at a two to one ratio, then a 1.5 to one ratio and soap cool, do everything that I'm going to teach you today and see how that goes. And you'll be down to a one to one in no time. So let me give this a buzz. Oh, very important, I need to put my safety goggles on. I, do, I did remember to put my gloves on today, so that's a good thing. I really need an apron. I really need to order one of the Soap Witch aprons from, from B, who is the owner and founder of Sorcery Soap. Those are great. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like everything is really well incorporated in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance before I add my lye solution. And I'm gonna measure that out. Uh, this, you can use a ton of this. The, the usage rate is up to 22% in soaps. I'm certainly not going to go that high, but I'm making five pounds of soap, so I'm going to use about four and a half ounces of soap, of, I'm sorry, of fragrance. Okay. 
and then I will blend that in. Always make sure to burp your stick blender. It just helps get keep some of those air bubbles out of your soap. Oh, it smells so good. As you'll notice, my stick blender is pretty powerful, so it's pretty much impossible to get rid of air bubbles completely, but one thing that we can do is give it a stir, a light stir with with one of our spatulas and that will get rid of some of those air bubbles. All right, now we're ready to add our lye solution. We're gonna bring it to emulsification and then we are going to, I'm gonna do just a light swirl. The, there is vanillin in this fragrance. Um, it has 1% vanillin, so it is going to darken the soap. So I'm going to do a swirl. I'm not going to add any colorants to it, but I am going to add some titanium dioxide just to a small portion of the soap so that we have some contrast. So here's my lye solution. My lye solution is pretty cold. It's been in the refrigerator. It's been sitting out for probably 45 minutes as I was gathering everything, but it's still pretty cold. Um, I do refrigerate it and sometimes I soap with it right out of the refrigerator and that really helps, especially if you're working with uh, fragrances that really accelerate. This is a really well-behaved scent, so I don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna pour our lye solution in. And because all of my oils and everything are already emulsified, you're not gonna need to stick blend it very much to get to emulsification. That's really important if you're using a fragrance that tends to be fussy, uh, something that wants to accelerate really fast. Now. The way I'm going to know, you have to watch really closely, the way that you'll know that your soap is emulsified is there's a very subtle color change once the lye is completely incorporated into your oils. So here I go. But that's it. Did you see it? It was as quick as that. It got just a touch darker. And I actually will stick blend this a little bit more um, before I pour it because I want to be able to texturize the top and I don't want to have to wait forever. But I'm going to leave it like this until I get my portion with the titanium dioxide done. So we're going to do about that much with titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide will um, accelerate your fragrances, uh, not your fragrance, but your batter um, a little bit. Well, it could do it a lot depending on how much you're using. And I don't really measure. I just squirt in about as much as I think I need. I'm using um, titanium dioxide, the water dispersible titanium dioxide from Nurture. And I've used all kinds of titanium dioxide and it is by far my favorite. I never have any issues with it uh, not dispersing or, you know, getting specks or streaks. So it's really great about that. Okay, I'm gonna blend this a little more just to kind of get it caught up to the same consistency as the portion with the titanium dioxide in it. I 
don't want to get it too thick because I do want to have a nice swirl happening. So let me give this a quick stir just to try and bring some of those air bubbles to the top and incorporate any that may be on the side so we don't have any odd streaks in the batter. All right. I always wear a handy towel on my shoulder just so that I can wipe my fingers off without having to grab a towel. And my husband Lars is helping me film this, so thank you, honey. Um, is the mold in? Yes. You've got a good view of it? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Ugh, made a little bit of a mess. I hate that. I am typically a pretty neat soaper, but that's what paper towels are for, right? going to give this, um, I guess you would call it a spoon swirl, but I'm using the back of my spoon handle. And that's it. We're going to have to wait um, just a few minutes, probably 10 minutes or so for the batter to thicken up enough for me to uh, texturize the top. And I will bring you back as soon as it's ready for, as soon as it's ready to do that. Okay, it's only been about three or four minutes, but it's pretty ready to go ahead and texturize. Um, Unfortunately, I did not make the white portion as thick as the other portion. So sometimes it creates a really cool effect. It just is one of those things you kind of have to wait and see until you unmold the soap. Boy, that white is runny. I can't believe that.
Okay, I'm just gonna clean up the edges. Hmm, I'm not happy with this at all. This is not the water discount's fault, folks. This is completely my fault because I did not I did not get the portion with the titanium dioxide in the right to the right consistency so it is what it is it will still be wonderful usable soap and hopefully you've learned how to do water discounts and remember to get the consistency of all of your soap the same. I am now going to pop this in the oven with the light on and I will bring you back uh, in several hours. It'll probably take six to eight hours for this to be ready to unmold and I will cut it for you. Thanks for watching. Hello. I am back for the cutting video of the vanillary soap made with the water discount. And it has been about 12 hours. And it is really hard. I didn't want to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to cut it. Sorry. Looks like it got a partial gel. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, that's the inside. There's a bit of a gel ring. Um, that's okay. Um, and in fact, you'll notice when I post pictures of this in a week or so that that gel ring will completely have disappeared due to the low water content in the soap. Um, if you ever do get a gel ring, they just don't stick around. So I think the soap turned out pretty darn well. I'm not thrilled with the top, but the top actually doesn't look terrible, you know, now that it's, it's all saponified. Um, it could look better, but you know, when you cut it into individual bars, I think, I think everything looks just fine. So I would call that Mostly a, su a success, I think. I know I need to get a bud cutter. Don't laugh at my little cheese cutter. It's been very good to me for the past three years. It's cut every batch of soap I've needed it to with no complaints. It's never broken. It's never not cut on me the so I'm gonna keep on using it until it stops working and when it stops working I would definitely will invest in a true bud cutter because 
They look like they're the best, and from everyone that I know that has one, they definitely act like they're the best, too. Soap still smells amazing. It's a very... Uh, let me see if I can give you... It's a very true vanilla scent. It's, um, boy, I don't know how else to describe it. There's not really much else in there but vanilla, but it's almost a dead on duplicate of vanilla from Lush. So if you've ever smelled anything if you've ever, ever smelled that from Lush, that is what this smells like. Well, it looks like my battery died right as I was finishing cutting that loaf of vanilla soap with the water discount. But I wanted to thank everyone for watching the Happy Soap Group YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.